So I've made, I've used essential oils before uh, for healing and everything, but usually I use them for magical uses. So I tend to look at them for how they're used magically, spiritually, whatever, and also how they're used medicinally and how they're intertwined with each other when I make my different um, oils and whatnot. Um, today I was going through my essential oils and I don't have a lot left and I was seeing what I could use to boost my health and everything because I don't tend to use them too much for that. If I wanted to take something and like to help me with my health, I usually would make a tea or an infusion of some sort to take inside. But um, I was reading a lot about essential oils today and I figured that I would try doing more healing on the outside, uh, working, I mean, through my skin and everything by applying things topically to see how it would affect me and to compare it to how I'm taking things internally. But some things I can't take internally, but I can use on my skin. Like, um, they're good because I can't stand the taste of some things is the main issue. Is that like chamomile? I absolutely hate chamomile. Unless it's really blended with other things, I can't drink it. It tastes like nasty tree bark to me and I just cannot consume it. Um, unless I like force it down my mouth. I usually want to like take a pipette and like squirt it down my throat. But then what's the use of doing that? Because you're come causing all the stress and everything by trying to get it inside my body. We don't want to be taking it to relieve stress. So two things I did. Um, I have some aura cast or aura, 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 aura cassia essential oils. I have some other ones too. Uh, I tend to get different brands depending on sometimes they'll be on sale or something or um, I've heard different good things about different essential oil companies. But um, for this one, uh, I got pine and Texas cedar wood. And what I did was I did the diluting, the 2% diluting. So for 2% diluting, it's supposed to be like for every fluid ounce, you put like 12 drops of essential oil. Because you're supposed to dilute it so you don't have a sensitize, sensitize, I always say, it's hard for me to say things, I'm sorry. Sensitization, where like sometimes you'll have a, a, a bad reaction to essential oil, right? Like, because some people think that you can use pure essential oils. And, um, but sometimes, I mean, usually they'll say like tea tree, I think it's tea tree and lavender, they say you can use direct as an essential oil. Uh, I have to check on the tea tree though, because that's for some reason saying no, 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 no in my head. But lavender for sure. A lot of people think that you can use that straight. And I don't believe in that because a lot of people are really sensitive. Like myself, I'm extremely sensitive. There's some parts of my body I can see taking it. I would never put on like a wound or anything because I'm because of my sensitivity, but I had like a bug bite that I've put them on before and some other little things. Usually I like to dilute them though just to be safe. So the 2% dilution, you think that because the scent and everything is going to be diluted and you won't think that you're going to get the health benefits from them, but I believe that you still get them. So I took half ounce bottles and I filled them with my carrier oil. Or actually, you know, I took my pipette because I don't like, usually when I get the essential oils, open... See how it's open there? Usually they'll have like the cap on here where it have a little, so you can turn it upside down and have like a dropper. But those don't always work. Like sometimes you have to like shake them and then when you shake them, like four drops come out instead of the one you wanted. Um, so I like to take them out and just use pipettes. And so I put, for kind of half ounces, I put six, six drops of essential oil in each of these bottles. I have one for Texas cedar wood and one for pine. And half ounce bottles. So usually I like, like those sit for a while so that the essential oils can infu infuse the carrier oil that I'm using and then I'll apply it that way um, and also things like when you want to use cassia oil which is uh, in the cinnamon family <laughs> uh, these are just a couple that I was uh, thinking about today that I'm using on my body because um, I know they say that pine can help reduce cravings and hunger <laughs> so I want to use that and then the Texas cedar wood um, the Texas cedar wood is good for uh, like skin issues because sometimes I get little I don't know it's good for like psoriasis and acne and stuff which I don't really have but I get like flaky icky skin right here sometimes and then I have a little bit of other skin issues that I wanted to test it on to see if it has any good effect on it um, I'm blessed that I don't have too many skin issues though <laughs> so I don't get like huge pimples all the time or anything I have a little bit of rosacea that's pretty much it on my face rarely I'll get like another sort of bump and yeah whatever um, but anyway, so I have those and I'm considering watering down some cassia oil, but I'm thinking that my body's going to be too sensitive and I'd have to like really, really, really water it down. I'm really diluted. I mean, but, um, yeah, 
So it's weird because some people say, yeah, you can use like, there's some essentials that they say are really, really pure and that you can use them directly. And people are using them directly. And I haven't heard anything really because I don't really talk to the people that are using them. Not, not like because I don't want to talk to them. I just meant, I've, I, people make posts like, I use this today. And I don't really ask them, would you use it in carrier oil or not? Some, I don't know if they are, but I know um, some of them are applying it directly, which scares me. <laughs> I'm, I'm like way too sensitive. I don't want to have a sensitization issue. So I'll say that uh, the sensitization, <laughs> that sometimes like there was an example that a woman had used lavender essential oil pure, the pure, so the, when it's pure, it's called neat, um, on a wound. And now every time she touches essential oil, she gets like a skin reaction for like a month. Because it's like remembering this issue that she had before and it's reacting against it. So it's it's really, really strange. Um, so I wrote, just take the safe route and always dilute my essential oils before I use them. And uh, yeah, so that's pretty much it. Um, I guess it's a short little video on what I did tonight. <laughs> so thank you for watching.